Hi everyone, my name is Steve. How are you doing today? So I want to do a quick little audio file video here and what this one is is a pretty cool one. Um, this is a hot stamper reveal. So as audio files, we all know what a hot stamper is and I mean I'm sure you guys have gone down that rabbit hole before and paid big money to get the best sounding audio file vinyl out there. Um, clearly I have as well. So um, I guess it's one of these things, learn from mistakes of others before you do it, right? So what I wanted to show you guys today is the actual hot stamper that I purchased, the vinyl hot stamper record that I purchased from a legitimate hot stamper website. Now, um, this hot stamper was rated A++ on side one, A++ on side two. They're going in Discogs right now anywhere from $10 all the way up to $30 for a near mint one. Uh, my copy today is probably close to near mint as well. I mean, the vinyl sounds wonderful, very clear, um, not a lot of surface noise, um, and especially too, I mean, that's what you're getting at with these hot stampers is, you know, I would assume really good quality for what you're paying. But I mean, knowing the matrix number now, I'm going to basically reveal that and maybe help you guys who, uh, you know, are on a bit of a budget, want some audiophile vinyl that is not, um, you know, huge in price uh, with great sound. Um, maybe this is for you. So let me just reveal this to you. Here it is. This is a 1984 Beatles Help album, uh, UK pressing on the Parlophone label. And again, this was purchased by a legitimate Hot Stampers website that I that I got it from. Um, I do have the MoFi version. I like the MoFi version, but I mean, if I had to choose between the two, I would choose this one over the MoFi version. It just it sounds amazing. Um, very good clarity. Ringo's drums, the whole bit. I mean, it does sound really good. Um, and then, you know, the thing is, I don't want you guys to go down that rabbit hole as well. Uh, you know, find, going after these albums for the prices if you can find them for a lot cheaper. So I'll give you the matrix on this one. Uh, do some, re you know, do some research. If you're doing some crate digging, if you come across some old Beatles albums, um, first of all, I would definitely suggest UK pressings over any of the capital North American pressings. Uh, definitely better sounding. So the matrix on this one um, is YEX168-4HTM. Beatles Help 1984. Um, like I said, if you're in, in uh, you know, in the record store and you come across a couple of these, have a look at the matrix, look at the vinyl, look at the dead walk, see what it says, and uh, maybe, you, maybe you have yourself a $10, you know, hot stamper audiophile um, piece of vinyl. Not a, not a bad find. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Um, if you like it, please uh, subscribe on the bottom of my YouTube channel and like. look forward to all the comments. Uh, we'll see you again very soon. I got lots more um, videos happening in the next little while, so stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.